to soar like the mighty condor, thy wings flapping close to heaven's door. O oh, majestic raptor, reach for the sky, and so must I. Flap, flap my wings, and let mine own spirit soar. Welcome to Bolivia! The central Andean regions of Bolivia and Peru are rich in cultural treasures, dizzying alpine landscapes and relics of ancient civilizations. Bolivia is a veritable Shangri-La for the adventurous and independent-minded traveler. Highlights of my journey would include a visit to Lake Titicaca, where I'd search for a lost underwater city, the Incan Festival of the Sun in Cusco, and a life-affirming stroll through the ruins of Machu Picchu. I started my trip in La Paz, the vibrant capital city of 1.5 million people. Perched at 14,000 feet, a common complaint here is altitude sickness, or soroche. Since it's occluded, shortness of breath, Loss of appetite, crushing headaches, ah, oh, irritability. You spelled mozzarella wrong. Lethargy and fatigue. One's constant, unexplained erections. Altitude sickness, or soroche, was interfering with my duties as a travel show host. This, the Plaza de... The locals could read me like a book. Coca leaves have been chewed here for centuries to help cope with the high altitude. So I went to a traditional healer, or Kayavaya. I don't feel well at all. His prescription? You guessed it, coca leaves. Chewing coca leaves is safe, legal, and delicious. It's got a good taste. My altitude sickness was cured, but I developed a delightful case of bargain hunter's fever. Bolivia's economic crisis makes it one of the cheapest places on earth. You would not believe the price I'm getting on this. And be sure to hop on your broomstick and head to the Vichas market, where you can buy everything from a spooky mask to a real llama fetus. Now, I would never buy such a thing, but if I were, hypothetically, how much would this cost? Trenta. Uh, no, I mean, if I were to buy it, I never would, but I'd pay 15 at the most. No. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm not going to buy it, but I would 20 would be the highest price I would give you. No. Oh, come on, you're, you're killing me here, uh, hypothetically. When the sun goes down, La Paz comes alive. And if traditional Andean dancing is your bag, you've come to the right place. Normally, I'm not much for musical theater, but tonight was different. And before I knew it, I found myself on stage, booging to the Quaker in three-quarter time. I was flying, literally, to Cochabamba, Bolivia's third largest city. Founded in 1574, Cochabamba is known for its perfect climate. I felt right at home here, as if amongst old friends, as if everyone knew my name. And the girls, don't get me started on the girls. It was also election season, and I found myself in the middle of a real Latin American political rally. Being a bit of a policy wonk myself, I inquired about the candidates' platforms. Again, is he for the coca? He's pro coca? No, no, no. Thank you, nice to meet you. Across town, the opposition and pro-Coca candidates rally was a whole different story. While the candidate himself could not be there, he sent his running mate, who whips the crowd into a frenzy with his inspired clowning. We have to vote with this guy, he's, he's totally pro-Coca. Speaking of Coca, my pouch was getting light, and it was getting late. 
my god! Jiminy Coca, get out of the way. Coca, Coca, no, no, Coca, get out of the way. Where are you? Gotta get to Coca. My search for coca took me through such charming Andes villages as Chapaya, which boasts an authentic village idiot, and Pusapa, where you can get the best trim in the Andes. But I still hadn't found what I was looking for. Coca. Coca. Then, in the hamlet of Pisoga, I hit pay dirt. Don't go away, Wanderlust will be right back. Life in the hamlet of Pisoga revolves around the harvesting of potatoes, maize, and especially coca, the proceeds from which fund the Marxist guerrilla group that is currently in control of this region. Where are we going? What did I do? My wanderings have given me a most unique opportunity. The opportunity to observe, up close, a real Marxist revolutionary guerrilla group called the Partido Unido Boliviano Egalitariano. The pube. The pube. The Pube's mysterious leader, Commandante Claudio, decided it would benefit all parties if I continued my travel show. So I dropped in on local chef, Doña Filiberta, to learn about Bolivian cookery. You can be sure that the flavor is imparted with age-old earthy goodness and traditional Bolivian values. Ah! The very values that the decadent fat cats of the current government are seeking to destroy. But they won't succeed due to the heroic vision of the pube. Pube! Ah! Of the pube. I'm not gonna candy coat this anymore. I'm being held captive like a chained pig by a group of common thugs. And what the hell did I do to deserve this? I recycle, I pay my taxes, I volunteer. Zip it! Zappu! Uh, I, I can't, so I look at my hand! Okay. I was subjected to the most vile and dehumanizing labor. Oh my god. My mind and body was pushed to the brink. Then the strangest thing happened. Maybe I was a little hasty in my judgment of the, of the pube. I mean, sure, they're common thugs, but maybe they're common thugs with a few pretty darn good ideas. And I'm not just saying that because they gave me my own stool. Chicha is a traditional beer of the Andes, which is made from fermented maize and human spit. It also makes an excellent social lubricant. It only took a few bowls to get Comrade Gregorio going. Oh, please. That is the most bourgeois thing I've heard all week. God, Comrade Maria is gorgeous. Those eyes, those lips. Well, that's all I can see. But she's definitely the hottest babe in the pube. Dear mother and father, your bourgeois value system will soon be washed away in a river of blood. Love, Gerhard. P.S. The mysterious leader, Don Claudio, whom I still haven't met, has tapped me to direct the Pube training video. Cut! Cut! Let's try it a little more Rambo or a little less Mrs. Doubtfire. Cut, cut. Take 23, get back. Back. You're killing me. See, Ultra Vase. Yeah, I really nailed it. Don't show them at me. Not at me. Cut. What part of presuppose the potato is a real grenade did you not understand? 
Back to your places. Okay, guys, uh, I think we got it, uh, unless you have any other suggestions for scenes. Mm. No, no, I don't think it's, it's not a good fit for this project. Okay, we need a title for this thing. Well, I'm gonna let you pitch a couple, so uh, what do you got? Viva la revolucion! Viva la revolucion, no, too cliche. Next. Two bed training video. Fuga, fuga, fuga! Look that, Jew. Days of pain and victory. Hey, I got it. Days of pain and victory! As the electricity is, is, is just, it's something to behold. People are dressed to the nines. Here come some more people in black ski masks. Military fatigues are big this year. Look, it's Bobby the dog. Everyone's a buzz. The anticipation for the movie. Days of pain and victory. Let's go have a look. Come on inside. Bobby, come. When Wanderlust returns, I get to meet Commandante Claudio, the mysterious leader of the pube. Pube! Uh, pube. Following the success of my video, I was finally invited to meet the mysterious Commandante Claudio. Who? Yes. He's a cartoon character. He's, he's not real. I was out of the pool bay. Frankly, I think Don Claudio felt threatened by my strong personality. Also, my parents refused to pay the ransom. Ow! Oh, my ankle! Ow! Oh. Now, like a condor chick emerging from its shell, I was free and had but one thought on my mind. Coca. Coca! But I had a travel show to do, so I made my way to Copacabana. Copacabana is a charming village nestled in the shores of Lake Titicaca. It boasts a stunning Moorish cathedral dating from the 16th century. It is rich in history, both religious and military. I don't know, I love this place. It's nice. It is also known for its traditional healers, or Kayavayas, who sit atop the 4,000 meter Cerro Calvario. And let's not be naive, I needed to get this coca monkey off my back. Hola. In order to cure my insatiable hunger for coca, the Kayavai used many time-honored techniques, including ringing a bell, putting things on my head, and squirting beer. Then he gave me a magic idol named Jose Lito. Kayawaya says that when I get in trouble, all I have to do is look to Jose Lito and He'll have the answers. Lake Titicaca is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Unfortunately, there are those few who derive puerile humor from its name. Okay, let's get it out. Titi is slang for a woman's breast and caca slang for feces. There you have it. Have a laugh, because we won't be thinking to those shenanigans on this show. Isn't it magnificent? The Inca believes that Lake Titicaca was the birthplace of the sun. And legend has it, there's a lost Incan city that lies below the surface. But no explorer has ever found it. Yet. I wear many feathers in my cap, but the feather of world-class explorer has heretofore eluded me. Until now, as I go in search of the lost city of Lake Titicaca. Wish me luck. Luck. Oh, the f***ing cold! Oh, 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 oh,
Did you find the CD? Yeah, I had some yeah? something. No one told me of course. And how was it? Yeah, I'm not freezing my ass off. What, what about the CD? Yeah, yeah, it's just tell great. Me, I tell saw, me something, I please. I saw everything. It's just great. Did you really see it? It's none of your f***ing business. Give me a blanket. <laughs> I made my way to the high plains town of Pukorani, where folks are passionate about two things. Drying potatoes in the sun and football. And I share their passion for football. My attitude towards football is play hard or go the hell home. Hey, hey, hey. Time for a real game. Ah, someone's gonna be there. Hey, hey, hey. Get him! Come on! Oh! Mine! 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 In your face! With the score tied, this game came down to a single penalty kick. will be right back. Founded in the 12th century, beautiful Cusco, Peru is South America's oldest inhabited city and was the thriving capital of the Inca Empire. Incan artisans created masterworks of gold, yet the leaders ruled with an iron fist. The Incan system of justice was swift and severe. Crimes as simple as stealing and adultery were punished with public stoning. Like this. Ah! Ow! 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 I was in Cusco for the biggest day of the year, Indi Remi, the Incan festival of the sun. This is a part of the ritual where the young maidens bring out the baked potatoes. Crowds from all over the world line the streets to watch the day-long procession. Sit down! Get down! Down! Then the revelers make their way up the hill, where they assemble before the main event. You never know who you're gonna bump into here. Steven Spielberg made it down here, so you know it's gonna be a special this is, event. This is, this is a world event. We're just glad to be here. What is your favorite travel show? <laughs> then came the climactic pageant itself. <laughs> This grand spectacle traces the ascendancy of the first Inca, Manco Capac. These folks are reenacting the battle of the Incas led by Viracocha against the expansionist Chanca tribe. Then the Inca king, known as the Inca, takes a stage. Inca Pupura! Punta Cuchu! A llama is then brought out. And shockingly, is sacrificed. Oh my God. His disemboweled entrails are held to the sun to predict the events of the coming year. Oh my God. What's not to love about the train ride? Super Roof! Choo choo! The train ride from Cusco to Machu Picchu is among the most spectacular on Earth. The train lets you off in the village of Aguas Caliente, where you board a bus for a ride up a vertiginous mountain that is definitely not for the faint of heart. Finally, a steep trail brings you to the summit, where you are greeted by perhaps the world's most stunning vista. There's no word in English or German to describe this view, but in Spanish it's called Impressivo. Besides the ruins themselves, one of the true wonders of Machu Picchu is the stunning geology, where snow-capped mountains meet tropical foliage. What the hell? When I saw that errant bag of coca, 
I knew I should just walk away, but... I'd rather stuff my face with coca leaves But when I did, I went down the tube oh. With the pew <sighs> I know I'll ask a little Don't be a fake, reach in the bag Oh no, why do you tempt me so? Choice through the leaves of hay. It's a new day. I feel okay. See you next week. You go, Zuna. On an all new South Park. What did you do to him? We just asked him to join our dance troupe. We heard he was state tap champion. <laughs> I'm sorry, kids. It's just that Butters hasn't danced since the tragedy. It's an all-new episode of South Park, tonight at 10 on Comedy Central. Everyone's got questions about Chappelle's show. Dear Dave, why aren't you canceled? The answer is quite simple. They ran out of episodes of Reno 911. So I'm back, bitch. Chappelle's show, new episode tonight at 10.30.